Hey guys, I'm Alastair from Trail and Kale, and this is my Brooks Hyperion Tempo review. I've been having a lot of fun running in the Hyperion Tempo, which is Brooks Running's lightest training shoe, by the way, designed 100% for being a tempo running shoe, and I think it delivers really well on that promise. It really is a lightweight running shoe, weighing in at 7.3 ounces or 207 grams. I mean, that's really, really is super lightweight. And that's, to be honest, what I want from a tempo running shoe. I want it to be responsive, flexible, super lightweight, and just fun to run in. Now, you've got to understand something about tempo running shoes is they're not going to be the most comfortable running shoes in the world. You do have to sacrifice a little bit of that plush cushioning. Um, and as you can see in this running shoe, there's not a huge stack height going on in the midsole. And basically what that means is you're not gonna get a hugely plush ride. You're gonna get a firm, responsive, fast ride. Um, and that's what a tempo running shoe is. So don't go expecting a super comfortable shoe. Expect a high performance one. The drop from heel to toe is eight millimeters, which feels really good when running. It's a medium fit across the shoe from toe box all the way across to the back, to the heel. Um, and it's a neutral running shoe, which means there's no additional support going on. Um, so if you do worry about lateral roll or pronation or anything like that, then maybe look at a GTS running shoe from Brooks instead. But really for most runners, you won't even notice that there's no stability. If you're used to running fast, doing speed sessions, tempo running, then you're probably well suited to a tempo running shoe already. And finally, they're $150. Right now, they're on sale for $90. Um, I don't know how long that's gonna last, but that is a steal. These running shoes for $90 is crazy. So I would be inclined to get a couple of pairs right now. Closest competitors for this shoe right now would be the On Cloud Flow 4 from On Running and the Hoka Mac 5 from Hoka. I'll put a couple of links down in the description so you can go and read those reviews next. If you're enjoying this video, please give it a like, subscribe to our channel and share it with a friend if you think this will be useful for them too. I hope this review answers all the questions that you may have before buying a pair of Tempo running shoes like this. If it doesn't, just feel free to ask me any questions in the comments down below. I'm usually pretty quick at replying. And I've also done a more in-depth review on trailandkill.com, so you can go check that out as well. It's got lots more photos of the running shoes, photos of me wearing them, so what they look like on my feet, and photos of me running in them as well. So definitely go check out the full review for more insights. How do they fit then? They are true to size, so I would go with your usual size, especially if you're used to running in Brooks running. Um, you'll be happy with that fit. Like I said, it's a medium fit as well. It's very comfortable slipping them on. You've got this nice soft cushioning around the heel, collar and counter at the back here. The lacing system is really nice. I do like this uh, for the most part. Uh, the laces cinch up really nicely. You can get a nice fit very quickly and efficiently. But I do have a couple of issues with this section of the running shoe. Number one is the tongue is actually quite short. Um, and it does slip down a little bit when you're running. So I put a little picture up here just to show you what I mean there. Um, it does have a loop in the tongue where the laces can actually loop through. But unfortunately that doesn't really hold the tongue up enough. Um, and then the other issue I have is that the laces are actually quite long in comparison to many other shoes. Um, so when they're done up and tied up, they do have a little bit of excess and they do flap around. So I would recommend double knotting these laces also, they might have a tendency to come undone because they are stretchy and thin as well. So this is how much they stretch. That's actually quite a lot for a running shoe lace and it really does help with the fit above uh, the shoe because your feet can expand and the laces don't constrict your feet when that happens. So I do really like that, but just double knot your laces and you will have a much better time out there. I'm going to go over some of the features that I really like about this shoe quickly then. First one being the midsole here that uses DNA flash foam. It's really nice, it's super responsive, just what you want from a tempo running shoe. Um, 
Now this is a little bit of a double-edged sword because anyone who might be a little bit heavier or maybe not used to a tempo running shoe, you might think this feels quite firm underfoot. And I wouldn't recommend going on long runs in these shoes because yes, it is a firm responsive running shoe. It's not designed to be cushioned or supportive over long runs, long easy runs, for example. So yes, double-edged sword. If you're used to tempo running, you know what a tempo running shoe should feel like, then you'll be absolutely fine with these running shoes, but just don't expect them to be plush and cushioned underfoot. Before I go on, I'd like to quickly mention the Trail & Kale newsletter. Um, if you subscribe to that newsletter, you can get full access to all our training plans, whether it's 5K, 10K, half marathon, marathon, or even ultra marathon distance. We have absolutely loads of training plans. This right here is a very custom six week 50K training plan, which I followed for Kodiak 50K a couple of weeks ago. Um, I kind of entered that race last minute so that I could get my UTMB stones for Chamonix next year. I'll put a link to the post down in the description about how you can qualify for UTMB as well, because it's a little bit of a complicated process. Um, but anyway, that sparked me to really quickly enter Kodiak 50 and um, I had to develop this plan for that. So anyway, my point is we have so many training plans on trailandkale.com, but you need to subscribe to our newsletter to get full access to those. And by the end of your training plans, I really want them to look like this. You know, we want to be able to train you to understand these training plans and kind of adapt them to your schedules and what works for you. And we teach you how to do that in our training plan. So fear not, all the information is there. Just subscribe to our newsletter. Um, and you'll also get weekly emails of all the latest gear that we've been testing and reviewing, and also training tips. It's definitely worth doing. So I'll put a link down in the description so you can go check that out. The other feature that I really like about the Brooks Hyperion Tempo is just how lightweight they are. 7.3 ounces is really nothing. Like I said before, this is Brooks's lightest training shoe, not racing shoe, training, and it's a tempo specific shoe. And the thing I like about lightweight running shoes is how much they improve your cadence and your tempo when you're running. You kind of just got that really nice efficient stride and your cadence will be a little bit quicker because you're not lifting that extra weight of running shoes that are on your feet. So um, it just feels really nice like many other tempo training shoes like the On Cloud Flow 4 for example and also the Hoka Mac 5 like I mentioned earlier. All, those, all three of these shoes are very similar, got a similar feel which is that tempo feel. Third feature that I really like then is this knit, the woven knit upper. Um, it's super breathable. Here you can see the holes. If I put my hand inside here, you'll see my hands through those holes. So that's how much airflow you can get out of the shoes or get into the shoes to regulate temperature of your feet. Um, so naturally running tempos, you're gonna get really hot. Your feet are gonna heat up. So you wanna be able to regulate that temperature. Um, so you need a breathable upper. And the upper is also very flexible too, so I like what Brooks have done here. It's a star running shoe, really loving it. The upper also does a really nice job of hugging your feet. So in conjunction with this lacing system, it really does cinch nicely over your feet and it comforts your feet, uh, so to speak. So I really like how that supports and um, kind of secures my feet within the shoes so that they're not moving around at all when I'm running fast. It's really good. Who are the Brooks Hyperion Tempo running shoes for then? Well, definitely for someone who's looking to up their speed, maybe do more speed workouts, whether that's intervals or tempo runs. Um, this shoe is probably what you're looking for. It's very lightweight, uh, very responsive, enjoyable to run in. Now, people who may be a little bit heavier on the heavier side or a larger build, may not enjoy these shoes so much. If that's you, I would recommend going for something that's got a little bit more cushioning in the midsole. Maybe the Hoka Mac X, for example. Um, I'll put a link to that one in the description where you can read my review of that running shoe. Um, that would definitely suit the runners with a larger build who are slightly heavier than average maybe. 
So yeah, it, it is a firm running shoe. So if you do need that extra plush cushioning or a higher stack height in your running shoes because of that, then these may not be for you. And finally, are they worth your money? They're $150 RRP. Right now they're actually $90, which is absolutely crazy. That's 100% yes, they're worth your money if you're getting them at $90. Um, I would definitely recommend buying two pairs if you are after a Tempo running shoe at that price right now. So yeah, definitely worth the money. Definitely great value for money. Even at $150, I would say these are good value for money. So yeah, I really can't recommend these shoes enough. Well, that's it for me and my Brooks Hyperion Tempo review. I really hope you enjoyed watching it. I hope it gave you some insights onto whether these running shoes are for you. Still, if you've got any questions about these shoes, just pop them down in the comments down below and I'll answer you pretty quickly. Well, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.